What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna go over the first five mods that I would do to my F30 straight off the lot. So let's get into it. One of the first mods I would do would be this cold air intake. And the one I have is an engine intake. I actually got this one barely used for only 150 bucks. So got pretty lucky. And this other guy was parting out his car, so he's able to hook me up on it. But this is one of the performance mods that I regret not doing sooner because I did this mod after pretty much full bolt-ons minus downpipe and the tune. So even if you don't have a tune and you do this mod, it'll be worth it. So the reason why I was kind of hesitant on doing this mod is because I was researching online and found that a lot of people say that it doesn't really do too much for performance, which it doesn't really, but it's totally worth it just over the noise. You can just hear the turbo spooling now and it sounds so much better in my opinion. It sounds way cooler. It makes it way more fun to drive your car. Because if your car is a turbo, you might as well enjoy it, right? Plus, I did feel a little bit of improved throttle response and every little bit counts. Also, it does help to keep your air intake temperatures lower due to the higher efficiency of airflow. So that's always an added bonus. All right, so another mod I would do right out the gate is a more aggressive diffuser. Now this only works with the M Sport bumper. Fortunately, my car came with the whole M Sport kit. So this mod gives the car so much more of an aggressive look with all the extensions coming out in the black finish because the stock diffuser that comes on these cars is like a dark gray color and it doesn't really match anything else on the car. And actually this mod is relatively cheap. So while you're at it, we'll just call this a two for one. I would go ahead and get this performance spoiler as well. Both of these mods for the rear end will only cost you about 160 bucks. I'll leave the links in the description below, but for that price, you just can't beat it for the extra aggressive look and it just looks so much cooler. All right, so moving on into the interior. So this is one out of the five mods that I would do as well. It is a magnetic phone mount by Runline. So it comes with two circular magnets. So what I did is I just put the magnet in between my phone case and my phone. So I didn't have to like stick it on my phone or anything. So it works perfectly fine. You just stick it on there like that. And it's really convenient because you can have your GPS and your music, whatever you need, all at like an eyes level and it's out of the way and gives it a clean look. So like how I have the cord, it just runs through here. It's not terrible, but yeah, I can just go in between the passenger seat and then right up here. The magnet is fairly strong. Um, at first I did kind of have a little bit of trouble with this uh, being loose because it's on like a swivel, as you can see, but I've gotten it pretty tight over time and it's been working out just fine. So this mod is super seamless. It just goes under your radio area so you pretty much just screw it in under that. And it looks like it came with a car. It looks super clean. And then this mod mainly pertains to people who buy their vehicles in a higher mileage. So it would be this steering wheel wrap. And the reason why I would recommend to do this mod is because my steering wheel was kind of faded and it actually felt a little rough. So after I did this mod, it made my car feel like brand new. It just feels so much cleaner. It has all these different colored stitchings you can do so you can customize it as well as what materials you want and where. So this is pretty much a mod I should have done as soon as I bought the car, but I wasn't really into doing too many mods right when I bought it. I mean, this is my first BMW, so I was just overwhelmed and it was perfect as I bought it. So that doesn't last for too long. This mod has been great. Not too difficult to install. If you've sewed before, it would definitely help you, but um, Overall, it took me probably like an hour to do, so not too bad. And this is another mod I would do as soon as I buy the car. I would get some of these metal steering wheel covers. I'll leave the link in the description below. So these just kind of complete the whole look with, be with this being uh, silver as well. These just made it match so much better and really complete the interior look. 
super easy to install and very cheap as well. So with this, with the brake pedal, you literally just pry off the old rubber and stick that one on. And with the gas pedal, you literally just stick it over the gas pedal. So super easy install. Also to add to the clean look that it brings to the car, it also feels better underneath your foot, at least in my opinion. So guys, these are the first five mods that I would do to my BMW F30 right when I buy it. Uh, this is just from my personal experience, what I think you guys would enjoy most. And they're also inexpensive mods too, besides the intake, unless you can find it used like I did. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification for future uploads, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.